G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Think 4x4. Today we're installing tailgate storage into the 80 series Land Cruiser. Really exciting stuff, uh, let's see how it goes. Alrighty guys, so one of the first steps as part of this tailgate storage is to remove the carpet that comes factory on the tailgate. So I got ahead of myself a few weeks ago and already did that. Um, so here it is here, pretty straightforward to take off. It's probably the easiest step I would imagine out of the lot. So, yep, take that away. As you can see, I haven't even opened it. This is the product here, still in its bubble wrap. So let's go ahead and open that up. I reckon this has been sitting in the shed for at least three months. Had more pressing things to install on this car in, in preparation for Cape York. So inside the packaging, you've got your template, which we'll uh, line up in a sec. Alrighty, now that we've opened our product, the next step is just to take these cover plates off here and remove the foam blocks on the inside of the tailgate. Looks pretty straightforward. So, from what I can see, there isn't any small blocks of foam. Um, so we should be able to move on to the next step. So if you've got any of these left from when you took the carpet off, you want to remove them. Yep, just want to pop them out. All right, awesome. Now that we've got our bolts, we can put our template on and put our bolts through our template. Alrighty, I love paper templates. Just kidding. Alright, there you have it. So there's the template with the bolts in. Uh, I suppose the next stage now is to grab my trusty paint pen and mark along the inside here of the paper template before I go ahead and uh, make my cuts. All right, now that we've marked out our template, we can take out these bolts. So just so that it's super obvious, black is the represents the lid, and the yellow paint pen uh, is going to represent our cutting line. So I reckon I want to come out. Oh, let's have a look. What seems right? See, I think 12 and a half or like 13 mil is going to be plenty. All right, still recording, apparently. As you can see, it's all pretty rough. Like once you start cutting, you're just getting an approximate line. Definitely doesn't have to be pinpoint. It's really good to see that I've got my black line is my lid and that my yellow line is my cutting line, which is a perfect rectangle, so it's easy for a cut. Um, yeah, so let's see how we go. Again, I don't think they mentioned this in the instructions, but I'll probably make two drill holes here, just so that when I am cutting, I'll get to an end point where it will snap off. All right, so now we're just gonna lay a tarp over the back drawers or the back of your vehicle, whatever it is, um, to protect metal shards from getting into the back. Nothing like putting a couple of CV joints as anchors. Not too greasy, are they? Alrighty. Got my angle grinder and my drill. So just gonna make a couple drill marks first. Need a battery, that will help.
next to no pressure on it. Just notice that there is some foam blocks under here. Yahoo! Alrighty, so I've just taken off my cutting wheel and now I'm putting on my grinding wheel just to clean up the edges. Alright, so here we are. As you can see, it's night time. I've uh, just done my daily errands and now I'm back and here we are. So this is just a t-shirt I found in my cupboard that I no longer wear. So I reckon it's gonna do the job. Bit of prep wash. Oh, that is coming off quite nice. So as part of our next step, we just wanna cut this plastic from the wire that's running through here. So it looks like I just need a sharp blade of some sort. And we can even do a crop zoom on the sensor so you can even, uh, get a better look. So I'm just cutting the plastic. I'm just cutting the tape away here. Just taking that off. That is no longer needed as we're about to cut and mold, or mold then cut the uh, sound deading that goes on the bottom. Before we do the test fit, which is what I was going to do next actually, before I put the sound insulation in, just in case I need to drill any holes, if I accidentally puncture through, then I don't want to ruin the sound deadening. So uh, I think that's what was advised in the instructions. So I'm going to do that, which means I'm doing a test fit first, which means I just want to make sure this paint's extra dry. So I'm just going to just go over it for a little bit with the heat gun. What I can do before I continue on is remove this masking tape. Alrighty, so now we're just doing a test fit to see if I need to drill any more holes. Trusty container here with our, our bolts. So let's see how many of them actually fit. There you go. That's pretty much going to be it. I obviously haven't put the insulation in. This is just a test fit. Wow, that's awesome. So. Yeah, interesting to see what we put in here. Stay tuned for future episodes, and we'll find out. I'm gonna take my bolts out. Alrighty, so we got two pieces of sound insulation. Um, I wanna say the best way to do this is kind of assuming that 
Uh, this is the full size of the inside, which it looks like it is. It really kind of goes to the edge. And I'm just going to sit the insulation on here, go over that corner, up, come up until the edge here, and just with a pen, I'm just going to mark underneath. And I flip that over and I can actually see I should probably come in another inch from there. So I'm going to cut kind of approximately along there. Pretty happy with that. Which you would have learnt this from our first shed episode. I'm just going to mark and cut and mould small sections at a time. I wouldn't mind just rounding that corner. So this one here, I want to just... These are pretty hard to access. I'm having to sit the nut at the very edge of my fingers. So what I've done is I've taken this out, I've just looked through the hole and I can see that I've lined up the nut. So I'm just gonna twist that in now. So that's hit that, that nylon silt. This is the much harder section through here because it's awkward to get to, so that's pretty much where I'm going to start. So just so you know, it's 13 mil nut, so you need a 13 mil spanner, a little quarter inch weir kit. Sit that on that side, you just put that in through the other, put the bolt back in, and what's the saying? Bob's your uncle, something like that. Obviously, this bolt is sitting to the closest edge because that's what's hooking under this lip here and holding it shut. So all you're doing is twisting that nut up as high as you want really, going four and a half teeth down. Yeah, that looks about right and bringing this nut back down to hold it tight. So that doesn't really move. And testing that. There you have it. You have the new tailgate storage by Hurricane Fabrication. Pretty straightforward um, installation. There was a few tricky things. Number one would have been the instructions. At the time of making this video, they were outdated. And so there's a few things in there that need changing. Um, and the second thing would be for me, laying this sound insulation. I found that a little tricky. I've actually had experience doing it before, not a great deal, um, but I do think if I were to do this again, I'd have a different approach. So hopefully this video has just laid out the steps for you and the order, hopefully you got something out of it and maybe it's taking the intimidation away from the installation because if I can do it, most people can. And yeah, that's it. Guys, if you like this episode, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, all that jazz, and we'll see you on the next Shed episode or Bush episode of Think 4x4.